So what is the end user benefit and what is the impact that it has on those stakeholders? Essentially, there are really four stages in any uh, PR communication strategy. First, you have to establish awareness. And by the way, when you're doing your PR plan, you need to understand, as I said, it's long term. So none of these stages can really overlap. You can't actually achieve two of these to nothing total. So you need to divide them over stages. So first is to establish awareness. Let people know you're there and you exist. The next is understanding. Is what, who am I and, and what do I do and how do I serve you? Okay, so that's what people need to know. The third step is acceptance, which means I accept your benefit to me and I understand, and I understand it and, and I think it's good. So you have people vouching for you. And the fourth step is actually advocacy. That's when you start to have supporters, you start to have third party uh, endorsements and you start to have people really vouching for your business and saying you're a good thing. And that's the strongest kind of, of PR that you can get, which is when somebody else vouches for you. So you really need to work on those endorsers, on those supporters, within your network and outside of your network. Um, so in order to, to understand what you need to do in your PR plan, understand your communication objectives. If your business objective in, let's say, a certain quarter of a year, the YT, is to uh, generate leads, then that's what your PR plan needs to be addressing. Uh, your PR plan is, is like now and I'm hanging on to generate sales leads, then I need to focus on that. Not on getting sales, not on getting buzz, not on getting uh, hiring, right? So every PR plan stage needs to go in line with your business plan stage. And then we get to the interesting part, which is the tactics. Once I know who I am, what my story is, who my audiences are, what my message is, then you start to think about what are the tools that you're going to use. And the tools are limitless. You can use them in, it was, there wasn't much to use, but now you have so many tools. Starting from a, a press release, a press conference, uh, an event, uh, influencer outreach, using digital tools, there's so many tools out there. It doesn't, and you don't have to stick to one or all, you choose the tool that is the right fit for your audience, okay? So, um, and of course, the digital world has really, really changed how we do PR today. Uh, I know that a lot of people think that, that PR is this like fun, uh, you know, interesting uh, uh, field where you just go out and network and meet people and have great parties and events and, and so on. It's, a, it's actually, there's a lot more behind that. Um, events are great. Uh, if that's what you want to do, but if, uh, it depends who you're inviting and, and how you invite them and how you organize your event and what the purpose of your event is. Always think to the bottom line, always think about what is my goal from this activity. Uh, in terms of media relations as well, before I get into digital, uh, this is a, a, it's a difficult one because there's the press uh, in Egypt, to be honest, or in the Middle East, Amman, is not extremely sophisticated to the point where you have uh, trade press, where you have specialized uh, publications that target every sector. Maybe there's some tech press, but to be honest, if you're a technology-based business and you're always talking to the tech press, you're going to stay in the tech press. You're not going to move out into the business press and that's where you probably want to be, or the consumer, or the lifestyle. So you have to be, be careful. A lot of startups actually fall into that trap. They're technology based, so they start communicating with uh, and IT, and they stay there because they get labeled as a technology company. But at some point in your, in your life, you want to get out of that and start talking to a wider audience. Uh, so you need to focus on the consumer benefit and the business benefit and sell the business and consumer story at the same time as the technology story. Because obviously you have a vested interest in staying in the tech media because some of you are looking for uh, investment, some of you are looking to, for funding and looking to be well seen within your peers and within your industry players. Okay. Um, right, so social media and how it's changed uh, 
PR tools, it's, it's changed significantly actually. And we have this dilemma with a lot of clients uh, sometimes who come to us and want to do uh, traditional PR and, and be in newspapers and magazines. And my question to them is always, why? Who's reading it? Are they your audience? Uh, how are you going to trace if getting an article in page 27 of Al Ahram is actually going to impact your business? Do you know that? Does anybody know that? No. You can't trace it. Uh, it's, a pack, it's a requirement for a lot of big companies because they need to be seen to be doing something. Government is a big stakeholder for them and obviously governments need their own newspapers so they want to be seen uh, in those uh, publications. TV is a, has huge reach so some, it's important to be visible in, in some of the you know, talk shows and so on. But it's a, it's a very aggressive uh, space and you're fighting with uh, and the newsworthiness of Min Awal Sawra that had everything else and, and, and what people think is news is not necessarily what I think is news or what you think is news. So that's why digital is so important when it comes to PR. At the end of the day, everyone wants to know about something. They let you Google it, right? So focus a lot on your online presence, on your SEO. Um, don't say, uh, uh, I'll just have a website and I'll do the rest later. You know, I think if you invest more in your online presence for people to find you online, that's a lot more than you'll achieve. You'll achieve a lot more that way than you will by, you know, being in uh, Muscle Lyon or, um, or on a talk show, honestly. Um, so, and the tools that you use, obviously, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a jungle out there. There's so many different digital tools to use, but you, you need to choose which ones to really invest in and which ones you really want to stand out in and where your target audience is. So are they on, are they on Twitter? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on Facebook? Are they on, uh, do you need to, have to start at your own blog? Do you just need to be on Instagram if your product is very visual? Um, establish the presence and use the tools that you really Matter. Don't spread yourself too thin uh, because this requires a lot of time and dedication. So you have to, if you're going to do it, you, really, you can't do it for a couple of months and then I'm on so I'm not going to do it the next month. Uh, if you want to get something out of it, it needs to be consistent and it needs to be ongoing. Um, so I'm going to sum up because I'd like to open things up a little bit for, for some questions and answers and get a little bit of questions from what you guys want to learn about and about PR as well. But in summary, it's about understanding who your audience is or audiences. Having a very clear, crisp message. And this is not easy, by the way, to have that kind of message because if, uh, you need to, the message really needs to boil down to who you are, what you provide and why it's a good thing and why I should buy it. Um, define your objectives. Again, don't spread yourself too thin. Don't try to, don't think that the manner I'm launching uh, in a couple of weeks. We get this a lot, by the way. I'm launching in two weeks. I need to create huge buzz now. Uh, okay, well, you should have thought about that six months ago, okay? Um, and seize opportunities. There's so many opportunities out there for you to be present, to be visible, and they may not necessarily be the traditional ways that you're thinking of doing things. Um, so I'd like to open things up a little bit now to, to some questions and to give you more about what you came here to learn. Thank you, May. And I'm sure we're going to have some questions from the floor. We'd like to kick off the first question. <coughs> Nagib, of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. So, any social media, you like it? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. السؤال هو صوت شركة دلوقتي ارتفاع ستارت اب وانا مثلا عندي برودكت لونش او عندي اماكن لسه ما نيد تو جيت او يعني اعمل ايه؟ يعني الجزء ذا ديجيتال بورت اي ثينك وي كان دو ات فيري ويل بس اذر بورت ويتش از ذا نون ديجيتال بورت اوف ثينكس ما وي كان ستارت ايه يعني؟ بوز يور اوريس بوز يور يعني انا بتكلم على حاجه بتاريخ كونسيومر جوشن كونسيومر يعني 
لان هو ده دايما الحته اللي بتبقى صعبه ان احنا نتريق يعني. You're gonna have to prioritize. You can't be everything to everyone في كل الاوقات. Right? So if your primary audience is your consumer, break that down even further. Consumer mean demographics A. Where are they? They are A. They don't see لو انا بتارجت مثلا مثلا let's say I'm targeting youth من 16 سنة ل 20 سنة مثلا يعني of a certain demographic. ممكن مش شرط ان انا اعمل يعني ممكن ابقى ابقى present somehow في website زي يلا فور مثلا maybe maybe I'm targeting boys boys from 16 to 20 and that's where I want to do so I want to associate myself with sport مثلا do I want to be present to events in the festival that I just saw because this is where my uh, uh, my target audience my customers are you have to so you have to be part of their lives to bring them to you okay if that makes any sense so if I'm if I'm going to attract you I'm probably not going to do it by being in the newspapers. But if I want to attract maybe business partners and I'm looking for sponsors or supporters or Haga Kada, then maybe I need to be in the business space to the newspaper. So my answer uh, to me and uh, is basically you need to understand who you're targeting. Uh, and break it down by age group, by demographic, by geography, and then you understand. There's two ways to do this. Um, building a media, the media relations is uh, it's not easy. Okay, if, um, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. It's not easy. Uh, are there any journalists here? Yeah. One over there. Yeah. Yeah. Journalists are not uh, very easy to deal with for a number of reasons. Generally, <laughs> 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 the, the journalists I'm talking about are the yeah, الصحفيين اللي في الجرايد والمجلات اللي يو وونت تو تارجت اللي يو وونت تو ابروتش. اوفر وورك، اندر بيد، 